There are foods we are curious about but are too afraid to ask. It's all called Uncommon Common Foods with Chef Jen. Hey. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy day after Thanksgiving weekend. Were you and were you and Kate just sharing some Thanksgiving horror stories? We were. Yeah. Kate mentioned a small grease fire in the <gasps> yeah. You had a grease fire? Yeah. yeah. Well, my best friend uh, may have lit her stove oven on fire this weekend. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean, May? <laughs> so we all stood around, watched for a while, uh -huh. and, uh, <laughs> and then I said, maybe we should put some baking soda on that. <laughs> And uh, um, that's what we did. You didn't, you've, I've never had an incident like that, have you? Uh, you know, absolutely. Yeah, you bet. Uh, cooking a lot of things at once in, in a very hot environment, uh, things do flare up. But you always got to have, uh, you know, a lot of fires need to be contained and well, you need the oxygen out of there. So have some backup plan. We opened the doors. <laughs> did we? Allowed did we, more oxygen in. Yeah, we, had the had the the, we had the fire <laughs> person come in last week saying, you know, you put baking soda. You're supposed to, aren't you just supposed to close it all up, remember? Uh, and a grease fire, though. You okay. can't put water on it, otherwise it makes it worse. Yeah, That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, but you want to close it off, close off but the But we're area. okay. Get out of the house, call 911, do all the things. No. But you guys just had <laughs> a, little, a little party and, and watched. Yeah, we stood <laughs> around and watched for a while. Okay, let's stand around and watch and look at some of these crazy things. Do we start off with these pokey things? Okay, these pokey things. We had uh, plantains on the show before. We had bananas, and this is actually where bananas and plantains come from. It's a blossom or bud of a banana tree. So this is how they grow. They actually start in this sort of flower-like shape. And I'll give this one to you because I know you like to I do. experiment. Smell. Yeah, I like to smell. smell, play with. But inside each one of these leaves is a little bit of banana. That's these pretty. are baby bananas. So, so they grow it grows into be a it grows uh, into an adult a banana, banana tree, yeah, Can and I they grow actually, one? yeah, go ahead, open it up. Oh, yeah, this will get three to, 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 to five feet big. So this is, actually grow. this is the pre-ripe stage. I mean, this yeah. is really, we're talking ripe, 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 ripe. These are baby bananas. This is how they start, itty bitty tiny there things. Yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to eat. This is not no. part of it. No, don't this give me that, Kate. <laughs> this is a banana. So at this stage, they are not oh, delicious. Oh, I think you're going to eat this. <laughs> no, no. They're little bananas, but the banana bud itself is actually edible. So what you would do is you would peel off the outer layers, get rid of these little guys, because at this stage, they're kind of plasticky and inedible. Uh, so you'd peel off these leaves, and you want to work quickly with this. You know when you bite into a banana, it starts to get brown? It's called enzymatic browning, and this does it about Show twice off. as fast. Yeah. <laughs> Enzymatic browning is that it's a big you word, big word yeah. of the day. I hear yeah. lemon juice on top of that will help. Lemon juice, any sort of acid, lime, mm -hmm. a little right. bit of vinegar, but typically lemon sort of tastes best. Nice after. Like yeah, go oh ahead. yeah, let's see the banana. Just bananas. This is just oh. baby bananas. Yeah, just so the that. shoots <laughs> themselves are edible. They make lovely salads. You can throw them in curries, but you have to act quick because they do start browning. Make it into a salad, you yeah, said? Yeah, yeah. So you'd peel off each little layer. Okay, keep peeling. Get rid Try of your banana. You got the nails? <laughs> I don't. You it's thinly not slice as easy it. As you think. It's <laughs> not as easy as you think. Well, they're not too bad once you get in there. But yeah, so each layer has little more bananas in them. So this is what stage of a banana's life? Like a this week? This is the beginning. Yeah. A oh, jeez. And you can buy, I'm surprised you can actually buy these. You can actually buy these. I found these at TNT Market. Yeah. Um, and they're usually there. I've seen them quite a bit. Uh, you know, it is a little labor intensive if you want to take it home and play with it's it. It's like you have one to of those do. gifts when you just keep <laughs> opening layers and layers and you it's never actually get it to the gift. It keeps on giving. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Inside but there's <laughs> a little Russian dancer. <laughs> <laughs> or a banana. <laughs> a little Russian banana. I give up. Here you oh, right. Good, good okay. effort. Good I'm effort. Making, I'm just making a mess. No, no. So oh. the bananas you don't want to eat at this stage. They're hard. They're plasticky. They're not delicious. But the leaves you can absolutely. And eat. It's endless fun with your children. It's endless fun as well as a good cleanup party. But kids love that stuff. Looks like a jackfruit. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Everything looks looking. to me like, like a jackfruit. Like, we'll bring that next oh. time. Okay, well, I keep peeling. What do you got? Mm -hmm. What else do you got? Uh, well, I've got a little bit of fennel here. So well, if can we you. Eat this? Yeah, please do. Oh. Go ahead, Kate. It looks Kay, like an awesome. onion. It looks like an onion, except it's or, not or, like an onion no, at all. It it's kind of in the like celery family. Fennel is really neat. It's got sort of that anise flavor. You'll oh. find it in the grocery store. They usually have it titled under anise. If you're doing the self checkout and you're trying to figure out what it is and you don't have the code, <laughs> fennel is neat. You can eat it raw. It's kind of got that licorice sort of fresh sweet oh. note to yeah. it. Crunch it's like good an on apple. Salads, right? Excellent on salad. I can see Amazing this on salad. roasted. Mm -hmm. uh, great with fish. But fennel is neat because it's a vegetable. This bald part. The fronds at the top is a lovely herb. The seeds, you've seen in a lot of things, finishing things, uh, pickling things, chorizo sausage. I smell, boy, it's got a very And the pollen, nice smell you actually it. can finish a lot of dishes mm. with a little bit of the pollen. So it's really neat, really floral, really special. Goes well with citruses, fishes, And can you pork. use, like, this part looks like celery. It so does. We'll yeah, you can that. actually use it. You can chop it up and use it. It's a little bit fibrous, but it's really neat, really hollow on the inside. But typically, you'll see fennel sort of chopped here in mm -hmm. the bulb in the store. And a lot of people don't really utilize this oh. part. But you certainly can. We used it this weekend in our Thanksgiving. 
Thanksgiving salad. Mm -hmm, we, mm -hmm. we roasted the ball, we cut it into wedges like this, a little salt and pepper, oil, get a little color on it. Uh, use the fronds, we used a little bit of the seeds in the salad dressing, threw in some insane, citrus, insane. lovely. So fennel, mm -hmm. where, where can you find both of these items? Now, this one is kind of special, a little bit labor intensive. You'll find that at most Asian markets. Uh, and, and fennel, you can find it at any grocery store, the big ones, the small ones, it's usually, usually hanging around. And don't forget, sometimes they store it under the name Anise. Okay. There you anise. Go. Anise. A N I S E. Yeah, yeah anise. like anise okay. seed or, or star anise. It's those licorice sort of notes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Common, common food. Stick around for a little bit because I know you have more to show I off do. as well, too. Good. Uh, first, here's what's happening in and around our city, including the Calgary Urban Aboriginal Initiative. They're hosting their fourth annual services, domain, resource, and information fair. It's happening this Wednesday from 10 till 3 at the Marlboro Community Hall. You get all the information on Aboriginal resources in the city of Calgary under one roof. Pretty cool thing. If you would like more information, well, the good news is you can by just calling this number 403-268-3231. And that is what's trending now here on Trending on Shaw.